everyone, happy day 269. I woke up this morning around six o'clock, which is late for me. I laid in bed for a minute, let my eyes adjust to the morning light, and then grabbed my books to do my morning reading. When I was done, I put my feet on the floor and got ready for the day. Now that the boys are getting older, especially Logan, who's 14, they are sleeping in later in the mornings. I feel bad waking them before I leave for church, but I can't leave the house and not tell them. This morning, Billy got up around 7.30 while Logan stayed asleep. I waited until the last possible minute to wake him before I had to leave for church at 8.20. After I woke him, I gave him a kiss, told him his breakfast was waiting for him downstairs, and I flew out the door to make it to church to say the rosary at 8.30. I arrived at church at exactly 8.30, parked as quickly as I could without hitting any old people in the parking lot, and literally ran inside. I made it just as they were saying the first Hail Mary. It always amazes me how hard it is to get out of the house when my boys are at home. In the gospel today, Jesus warns the disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits, you will know them. When I look back at my life and think about everything that happened, my truth, I often wonder if things would have turned out differently if I had known what was going on around me. If I had known I was in a war, would I have been more prepared for battle? If I had known wolves were out there trying to hunt me down and kill me, would I have been able to defend myself better? Maybe I would have made different choices. Maybe I wouldn't have taken that fatal drink so long ago. Maybe if I had known, I wouldn't have gotten so mangled by the ravenous wolves. The truth is I can't change the past or what happened to me. But what I can do is learn from it and educate my children. I can tell Logan and Billy about the spiritual war they are in and help them to identify the enemy when they come in sheep's clothing. It may not prevent them from making bad choices or falling down, but they will know what a wolf looks like when it comes prowling around in disguise, looking for sheep to devour. I hope all of you out there have a blessed day 269. Please know that I am praying for you always, and I will see you tomorrow.